the Eiffel Towers, the Palm Jumeirah, the Taj Mahal, the Egyptian pyramids. All these man-made marvels fill us with a sense of awe. Man spends lakhs and crores to build these wonderful buildings. Yet, nothing can beat the cool shade of all these trees. Whenever man goes into the lap of nature, he is filled with a sense of calmness, peace and all his stress is removed. How is it that all this happens? That is because every blade of grass, every flower that blooms does so only to reveal the depth of God's love. Entire creation oozes with love of God. Man being a part of this ecosystem, he also should learn to contribute positively to the community. And the best time to put in this idea very strongly in the minds of a child is the student age. Hence, we thought of starting this initiative of planting trees because that seems to be the need of the hour. We are plagued with global warming, pollution and lack of fresh air. The right solution for all these problems is planting trees. Of course, we collaborated with a lot of organizations when we took up this initiative. The government of Tamil Nadu gave us 1000 seeds and each child planted this seed in the school and they took this to their homes and they are growing it in their own homes. And apart from that, the, the rows of trees that you see here, these are all planted by the students and the staff nearly eight years back on Gandhi Jayanti Day. The work does not stop there. Just planting a seed is not all. There's so much of work that goes behind the scene. The seed that was planted should be taken care, it should be watered, there should be a person who's nurturing the plants every day. And in this regard, the KLA 10 Corps, as a part of the community outreach program, helped the school in a great way. We are thankful to them for collaborating with us in this uh, event of uh, making this whole place clean and green. Yeah. We would definitely like to see the people who are associated in maintaining this place so beautifully. Let us go and meet them. Prabhu. This is Prabhu Kumar, who is there with us for the past six years. What are you Prabhu? He's trimming the grass. And there you can see the person with the mask. He is our trustee sir, Mr. Shripati Rao sir. Please mask remove. Please remove the mask. Sir is the trustee of the school, yet he is such a simple and down-to-earth person. I think he's a karma yogi, I think. He comes every day to the ground and he takes so much pride and he... Uh, works along with our two drivers this year being a corona year no they didn't have this job of bringing the children so both our drivers have been working it day in and day out and here comes uh, oh next to him is permal permal number school level was marking on oh my god uh, he's here for the past 20 years he's coming from a place like called madurantakam which is he has to travel every every day for two hours and come uh, so Prabhu and Permal are like left and right hand for uh, Shri Pati Rao sir. And apart from that, there is also uh, another gardener, Muthu. So the flowers and fruits from the garden. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it, my friends. When you grow a garden, you have wonderful green grass which you can see and your eyes become very cool and relaxed. You can get the smell and fragrance of the flower. You can taste the fruit and you can enjoy. And it is jasmine, yeah. rose, kalakambra. A lot of flowers are there in the garden. And when you walk in this grass, it really helps us to relax. Mm -hmm. And of course, we cannot forget the oxygen that we get from the plants, which helps us to breathe and live. an award from the state government of Tamil Nadu for maintaining and growing these hundred trees. 
but the main joy that comes from growing and maintaining this garden is when the children come and play in the ground and for a relaxation sit under the tree which they have planted or probably their seniors or their staff their teachers have planted beyond this every weekend during this corona time lot of families in the neighborhood used to come and sit here it looks like a resort it is absolutely free they come and spend time with their family take in the fresh clean air the gift of mother nature and relax lot of boys come and play cricket and other games and enjoy here i am sure all these people whom you met just now must be very contented and satisfied seeing the smile on the face of nearly a thousand children and people living in the surrounding uh, when we plant a tree we plant hope for the future and it is said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years back or the second best time is right now not for themselves but for entire mankind the river flows incessantly to quench the thirst of mankind so why not man engage in activities that will be helpful for the entire community thank you jai sai ram